and a rare portrait inside the secretive nation of North Korea. Our Terry Moran invited to witness a rare meeting of the country's Congress and a celebration there of what its leader calls their, quote, great nuclear success. But elsewhere in the Capitol, an American college student is in prison. We saw him tearful in recent weeks, sentenced to hard labor. ABC's chief foreign correspondent, Terry Moran, taking us to the streets of Pyongyang tonight. We arrived here in North Korea, invited by the regime and on their terms. From here on, we are going to be very closely monitored and controlled. This morning, a mysterious journey down Pyongyang streets. We don't really know what's going on or where we're going. We were all packed into buses. Destination unknown. Turns out we were taken across the street from this vast hall. Inside, the curtain rose on North Korea's first party congress in 36 years, but we're not allowed in. Kim Jong-un defiantly boasting of the country's, quote, great nuclear success. Outside, an old man tells me, our nuclear forces are very accurate for a precision strike against the White House. The White so, House? Uh, yeah. Later, we're all taken to a factory making wire, a bustling showcase, where happy workers also can enjoy a soccer field, swimming pools, even hair salons. These are the permitted hairstyles for women in North Korea. These are the choices available to you if you want to get your hair cut here. But what reporters are not shown is the starvation here, the human rights abuses, scenes like this. 21-year-old American student Otto Warmbier sobbing as he is sentenced to 15 years hard labor for stealing a propaganda poster. Terry Moran, ABC News, Pyongyang, North Korea.